Good morning, my weasel friend. Good morning to you, my other friends. Oh, it's right out here. Whoa. What year is it? Guy's looking at me. I'm gonna stare back at him. He looked away. <laughs> Don't stare at me, especially in the morning. What? Except for you guys, you keep watching. So we're here in Atchison, Alberta, which is just west of Edmonton, Alberta in Canada. And uh, I'm about to go into West Edmonton and pick up a load of lumber that is going down to Schiller Park, Illinois, which I believe is a part of Chicago, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't know if I'm going straight through, going straight there. <laughs> Excuse me. Or if I'm taking it there next week, because it, it says in my computer that they only want it there on Monday, like next week, and it's Tuesday today. I could be there Thursday. I don't know, it's too early to think I gotta wake up and go wash my face and clean myself up. I literally, I just sat down here and put my jacket on. I haven't even walked the weasel yet. That's how important you guys are to me. <laughs> Let's go walk him, go inside, grab a coffee, put a hat on our pre-trip and let's go pick up our wood i will talk to you more a little later welcome don't forget to subscribe to my channel I make videos every day while I'm on the road traveling across all of Canada and the United States It'd be great to have you as part of the group and off we go on our way to pick up our lumber Someone in Chicago is counting on us to bring them their Canadian wood. I just gotta figure out when they want it there. I'd like to go straight there. Britt and I have another, uh, or Britt, technically Britt, has another fertility appointment on Monday. It's, like I said, it's Tuesday today, so I wanna be there for Monday. But if they want this freight in Illinois on Monday, well, that's going to cause some problems because I can't be in, in Chicago and at home at the same time. I definitely don't live in Chicago. No offense, I don't know if I would even if I had the choice. <laughs> Chicago, you scary. I like where I live though. For the most part, I wouldn't, run, I wouldn't really live anywhere else than where I live. I'm happy and content. Have I ever told you I'm not a city guy either? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that every, you know, every couple of days I like to remind you. No cities for me. Unless I absolutely had to. Continue on this road for 12 kilometers. All right, so we don't have to go very far. So I only got myself a small coffee this morning because before we know it, we're gonna be right at our shipper. Hopefully there's not a big lineup of guys wanting to get loaded. We're here. We had quite a wait, actually. Uh, we've been here probably at least an hour, hour and a half. There was a lineup in front of us, but oh well, it's our turn now. Gotta follow this little forklift guy to the back, where he's gonna load me up with 48 feet of lumber. Wonder what that's gonna look like. I don't need to tarp it, so that's the best part. I'm gonna be delivering it into Chicago on Monday and then getting a load back home. So I'm gonna to have to miss Britt's fertility appointment, but I do have my own fertility appointment on Saturday. I'm gonna be able to make it to that. So then we'll be back home on Tuesday. But for now, we're going home. We'll be home tomorrow uh, whenever we get there. It's a little over a day's drive from here. I'll be tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, and then we'll be home till Saturday evening. because I'll have to be in, uh, around the Chicago area Sunday night. I don't want to sleep in Chicago, but i got to be close by Sunday night. Now, where do you want me, bud? Right there, right there. Looks good to me, bud. Right here. So I've got my old tire up here, eh? This is the one I'm bringing back. I'm getting my money back for this because this is garbage tire. It looks round, but believe me, it's not round once you put it on the truck and start rolling down the road. 
So that's the old one. I'm gonna tie it down once I know where I have room for it after he loads me up here. He said he doesn't need this space here, so. So I'm a big fan of BF Goodrich steer tires. So I get the BF Goodrich 11R 22 and a half, highway control. I can't even get you in there. Oh, oh there you go. Can you see it? <laughs> I got you like shoved in there. So. And it runs so smooth. So while we're talking tires, these drives I put on the back a little while ago were doing very well. The recaps, I'm really happy with them. The rear axle wears down faster than the front axle. But that's why we rotate them when the time comes. But these are gonna do great in winter. And so far, you know, they're doing all right. I was never a fan of recaps. I'm still not a fan of them, but I'm testing them out for you guys, all right? And because uh, I couldn't afford the brand new tires <laughs> when they came out. And these were a lot cheaper. But I'm willing to give them a shot, all right? I have an open mind. Open mind, give them a shot. And so far they've been doing really good for me. So we'll see what happens. I'd like them to last two years yet. Well, I guess technically I could have afforded to buy fresh rubber. We call it virgin tires. Uh, but I had just dropped, you know, $20,000 into our roof in our, in our house and uh, Another couple of thousand just got put into it for all these repairs I just done. It's been an expensive year, but we've gotten a lot done. We've made progress. We haven't stood still. We've taken steps forward, which is important. We didn't get knocked back. We've been moving forward. So uh, I, I decided to save some money. That's what I should have said. I, I wanted to save some money and try out the recaps. Um, they've come a long way in their technology. Uh, they don't just fly apart. <laughs> I think a lot of people think that they just fly apart all the time. I know a lot of guys that run retreads. Uh, you can't have retreads on your steers. Your steers always have to be virgin rubber. But on the on the drives and the trailer, you can have recaps if you want, which means they take an old tire and they put new tread on it. So you could also call it a retread. Retread, recap. And they're a lot cheaper. Now they may not last as long. They may wear down faster. But I'm trying this experiment, right? save myself some money and hey maybe if these tires are good well then I just found a way how to save a lot of money down the road because you got to change your tires every couple of years right maybe I'll do it again if it if it turns out that it worked really well I don't know I don't know what to expect there's a lot of people who think that they're they're really bad that they're a terrible idea there's a lot of people who swear by them that use only retreads on their drives as long as you don't buy the Chinese tires, okay? You buy the Chinese tires, you're just asking for trouble. Don't even bother. Don't even go down that road. Don't buy anything from China. <laughs> no offense, China. You don't, you don't watch my videos anyways. You're not allowed to watch my videos, are you? Leave me a comment if you're in China right now and let me know what VPN you're using. I know you're not allowed to use the internet out there, right? <laughs> Off topic. Off topic. Rabbit trail. But yeah, uh, watch my videos and see how these tires go. I'll keep updating you on them over the couple over the next couple of years. And we'll see what they do. I bought my retreads from West End Tire in Winnipeg, and apparently they have a really good reputation for making really good tires. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. If it doesn't work out well, well then I'll just never do it again, you know. But I've got to find out for myself. I think it'll be fine though. I think it'll be fine. From what I've heard, and from all the stories I've heard, I won't have a problem. How long have you guys had this fingerprint on your face? You guys need to clean yourselves off. You're still there. There you go. Now you can see. Load it up and off we go. We're all tied down. I hope my weights are good. I'm definitely not overweight to be in Canada, but I might have to adjust it at our yard to be legal for the US. Sometimes it's tough to get it just right when they don't have a scale at the shipper. I sort of just gotta go off the uh, off the gauges, off the air pressure gauges, right? Ow! There was no warning that there was a bump there, okay. Or was there?
So yeah, I'll run it over the scale, and if something needs to be adjusted, well, then we can do that at our yard. Here's another bump. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're speeding. This is a construction zone. Wow. Now she's stuck at that red light. Okay, so we got to the east side of Edmonton here. Grabbed our liquid life. Officially, officially begin the day. A little late, but that's okay. At least we're feeling good. Truck's running, feeling good. I'm gonna put it in gear, not just roll forward in neutral. I'll go a lot faster when I put it in gear. And let's get out of here. I have the exit over here on this side of the parking lot now. See, if I didn't come here regularly, I wouldn't even notice it here. I'd just go out the entrance. But this is a one way, you're not supposed to enter here. As you can see, it would cause a bit of a kerfluffle. There's only one lane. Can you guess where we are? This is where we usually stop. Ugh, at least lately. For Davidson, Saskatchewan. It's Little Flying J. I guess I could fuel up tonight. I don't have to do it in the morning. Uh, I like stopping at this little place here. I don't know. It's quiet, it's small, not a lot of people stop here.
Why can't these guys park straight though? Like seriously. Who's teaching people how to drive in Canada? <laughs> I don't know why. Drivers up here just cannot park straight for the life of them. I'm not saying all drivers, but you all know who I'm talking about. You go to a truck stop in Canada, you'll see. Trucks taking up three spots, parked crooked, parked completely sideways. All right, here we go. Beautiful. <sighs> These are the pumps that are so narrow. Be careful when you come through here. Ticking away already. Filled up one tank, just started on the second one. Goody. She's gonna take quite a bit. She's pretty thirsty today. So, got my tire, my tarps up here. And so the way we distributed this weight was we put four of these stacks, a two by four by 16s. So 16 foot two by fours. Four on the front. And we got three after that. And then on the very back, we got two. And the weights are pretty well evenly distributed. I have about, uh, about 32,000 pounds on those axles right there. And my axles up at the front over there, I got about 33,000 pounds on them, full of fuel. 604 liters. That's what we bought today, cost us $767. How much fuel did you put in your vehicle today? We almost hit 800 bucks. That should last us till uh, the day after tomorrow. What a great day this was, man. Rock your fun, man. Rock your fun. Diesel, we can barely see you. Come over here in the light a little bit. Come over here. You know, over here, can you see me? Can you see me here? Your lighting good? You need to get some new lights in here, man. Great day. Great day. You want to tell the good people anything? No, really. No. It's, it's, it's a good day. We take washing guys and gals and dogs. So yeah, this vlog comes to an end. I'm sorry, did I smack your nose? Jeez, oh, that was an accident. All right, well, I guess we got to take you out one more time yet, eh? You want to go outside one more time? Then I'm going to go back there. I'm going to sleep. Have I showed you guys this yet? One sec, check this out before we go outside. One second. Check it out. Look at this. Oh. Got myself some Walmart. Last time we were there. Check this out. <laughs> Look at that. Eh? I've been meaning to show you guys this. And this just goes in there. Uh, it goes further back, but the shirts are in the way right now. And then while I'm sleeping, or sitting here, I can watch TV before bed. And also when I have the table set up here, you'll see in a bit, I can have my mouse and stuff on the table here, and use this screen, hook it up to my computer, and edit my vlogs on the big screen. <laughs> Surprise! Yay! I'm excited. So thanks for watching. Oh, you guys are all dirty again. Dirty, dirty. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tomorrow's gonna be another day. Tomorrow, we get home in the evening. And then I'm home for, well, tomorrow's Wednesday. I'm home for Thursday, Friday, and most of Saturday. And then Saturday evening, we head towards Chicago. We arrive there Sunday night, deliver first thing Monday morning, get a reload and come back home. And uh, that's as far into the future as I know. Don't forget to subscribe. It means a lot to me if you do. I know a lot of you who watch this video uh, just watch it, but you don't subscribe. So if you want to do me a big favor, please go and hit that subscribe button. And if you really feel like it, hit the bell beside the subscribe button as well. That'll give you a notification when I upload a new video. So. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you tomorrow.